I really wish that we were all gathering together on the steps of the sanctuary for our children's moment. So let's kind of pretend that we're doing that. Gather close and let's hear what we have to listen to and learn from today. Do you like sports? What do you think is the most popular sport in the world? So some articles that I've re read recently suggest that it's soccer, that soccer is the most popular sport in the world. And in some countries they call it football instead of soccer. Football is a different sport in our country, right? If you're playing or watching soccer though, just like any sport you play, it's important to know and follow the rules. How many of you know what this is? Hold it up, there it is. What is that? Even if you've never seen a soccer game, you might have even figured out the name for this. It's a yellow card. In soccer, if the referee holds up a yellow card, it's to warn a player that they've done something dangerous or unsportsmanlike. For example, if a player tries to kick the ball out of the goalie's hands, that's dangerous. The goalie could get hurt, so the referee shows the player the yellow card as a warning not to do it again. And if that player makes another dangerous mistake, the referee shows him the yellow card again. But if it happens again, then he would show him the red card. Do you know what this means? This means that the player is out of the game. That's a pretty rough punishment, isn't it? You get just two warnings and then you're out. It seems like this game of soccer isn't very forgiving, is it? How many times do you think a person should be forgiven for doing something that's wrong? Should they be forgiven once? Or maybe twice? Or maybe three times? If you were to ask Jesus how many times, I wonder what he would say. We don't have to actually guess this because there's actually a story about this in the Bible. And one day Peter asked Jesus, how many times should I forgive someone who sins against me? Should I forgive them seven times? And I imagine that Peter thought he was being pretty generous and good to forgive someone seven times. But guess what? Jesus didn't agree. Jesus answered Peter, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Wow, 70 times seven. For my mathematicians out there, that's 490 times. I think that before I got to 490, I would lose count and have to start all over again. I think that's probably what Peter was trying to get, or Jesus was trying to get Peter to understand and wants us to understand too. We probably shouldn't worry about keeping account of how many times that we've forgiven someone. We should probably just keep forgiving them. Isn't that what God does? He doesn't keep count of the times he's forgiven us. He just keeps forgiving us. Let's pray together. Dear God, we're thankful that you love us. We're thankful that you love us and that you forgive us without keeping count. Help us love and forgive others as you have forgiven us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. Good to see you today.